So I thought I would try something a little different with our lesson 15 problem set. I've already worked it out and maybe I can just go over it with you. I'm not even going to read the questions because I think that you've already read them because this is you going over your homework, not um, doing it with me. So we've got sparkling water and cranberry juice. I decided to use S and C. Um, so I'm going to do C divided by S to find the unit rate. The unit rate was 4 fifths and that was consistent. I used this unit rate um, to find this value. So I did 8 times 4 fifths to get 6 and 2 fifths. And then here, if I was going backwards, I would actually um, divide by 4 fifths. So 40 divided by 4 fifths gave me 50. And again, 100 times 4 fifths gave me 80. And then I graphed these on a graph. Um, I went ahead and wrote my equations. So I wrote one with y equals 4 fifths x. And the other I used my C and S. So C, to get to C, you take S times 4 fifths. And that was number one. Number two, okay, this was about the swim team. And we had to use the graph to determine the number of calories burnt in one minute. But when I looked here at one, I couldn't really tell. So what I had to do is find what I could tell. And by could tell, I mean one that I could read precisely. So this point is 15, 100, that's x and y. So then I did y divided by x and got 6 and 2 thirds. This one, it would really be difficult to do that precisely as well. So this was basically the only point I could precisely read and use. But as long as I know it's proportional, because it's a straight line through the origin, and I go back and do y divided by x, I can find the unit rate using any point on a proportional graph. Okay, so then we're supposed to use the graph to determine the equation. So if this is the unit rate, the equation is y equals kx, and k is replaced with the unit rate. And finally, um, I had how long will it take her to burn off 480 calories? So I start with this uh, calories equals 6 and 2 thirds calories burnt per minute times the number of minutes. So they told me 480 calories. I replaced the C with 480. Um, so my equation is 480 equals 6 and 2 thirds times the number of minutes. To solve that equation, let me highlight that equation. 480 equals 6 and 2 thirds minute. So to solve, I'm dividing each side by 6 and 2 thirds, leaving me with the number of minutes equals 72. And over here somewhere, that would be a point on my graph. Okay, here is number three. So this one was about the world geography class and the distance between cities in Europe. Um, And let's see, so I, I found a point that I could read very precisely, and I have indicated the ordered pair, and again, remembering that an ordered pair is x comma y, so I had 8 comma 5, and then if I do y divided by x to find the unit rate, I would do 5 divided by 8, and then I have this written in decimal form. Okay, so the constant of proportionality is 5 over 8, or I could also do this in decimal form if I wanted. M is 0 0.625, okay. All right, the distance in kilometers between towns that are 5 miles apart. So I've started with my original equation. And I replaced y because that's the number of miles with the 5. And then I divided each side um, by 
5 eighths. So 5 divided by 5 eighths is 8, 8 kilometers. Again, I have my original equation. Probably best to go ahead and do the whole thing. This is a, okay. So if it's 200 kilometers apart, um, that would, I would end up doing the number of miles equals 5 eighths times 200. And the number of miles is 125. So this is um, conversion between kilometers and miles. 5 eighths is your unit rate. Okay, moving on. Last question. Um, summer vacation, cups of blackberries, cups of juice. Okay. The grandmother and Lydia spent time picking blackberries and they were going to make jam. You must cook the berries until they become juice and then combine the juice with other ingredients to make the jam. I didn't know that until I did this problem. Um, I've never made jam. Maybe you have. Anyway, here's my table. You can see that I labeled these X and Y. Then I found my I check to make sure there was a constant of proportionality. Then I used that constant of proportionality times one-third to get this. And then going backwards, divided by one-third to get my equation. So down here I wrote juice equals one-third um, times the number of cups of blackberries. And if there were 12 cups of blackberries, so juice equals one-third times 12. One-third times 12 is four. Four cups of juice. And then um, to make eight cups of juice, I would replace the juice with eight and solve this equation after I have replaced J with eight because they told me that. Okay, now I'm dividing each side by one third, showing that dividing by one third is times three over one and ending with 24 cups of blackberries. Now, as always, if you need additional help, please feel free to email your teacher and ask for that additional help. Um, thank you for going over your work with me.